Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. This week I'm going to show you how to produce this gorgeous, cute, fluffy robin nail art as well as bringing you the new Premier Gel Christmas 2019 colours. Before I show you how to produce the gorgeous little fluffy robin nail art, I just want to show you some swatches of the gorgeous new Premier Gel colours. I've started with this one because I think it is probably my favourite. I am such a sucker for a lovely classy red like this one. This one is called Berries and I've applied two coats in total just so you can see what it looks like. With all of these swatches I'm applying some top coat over the top and this is the High Shine No Cleanse Top Coat. Each coat is cured as well as the top coat to produce the final look. And just to let you know, each of the final swatch images like this, I have colour graded to be completely accurate to real life. Next, we've got Cranberry. Now, as soon as I received these colours, my friend spotted this and she had to have it on for her Christmas party. It was a must and it was such a gorgeous colour. This one is Cranberry. It's a beautiful soft pink tone with a hint of Cerise, but without that sort of sharp boldness of Cerise. It's got a lovely colour to it and it would suit every skin tone, I think. And again, here is the color graded image so you can see it as close to real life as possible and in comparison to berries. Next, we've got Pillar Box Red. Now this is a must have for me. I love a good classy red and it's so hard for me as a redhead to find one. As you can see, the coverage is fantastic on those two coats. It's got such good pigmentation, it's beautiful. It's a lovely, slightly deeper blue-toned red and it will look gorgeous on its own or with glitters for Christmas. And speaking of glitters, next we've got Mulled Wine. This is so sparkly. I love the combination of the deep red glitter with that lovely sort of mulberry base at the bottom. It's really nice and deep for those people that absolutely love to have those dark colours in the winter but want a little bit of bling as well. And what I've tried to do for each of these colours is compare them next to the previous colours for you so you can always get an idea. This one is Chestnut. This is a very light, warm toned brown. It's got a very ready tinge to it. You'd almost call it ginger, really. A bit like a fox. It's very, very beautiful. And as you can see, here's the comparison of all the colours together so far. Next we have Aubergine, which is a gorgeous cream mid-purple, and this is a really lovely classy purple. I'm a huge fan of a purple in the winter, and I can just imagine this one with my iris glitter over the top, my holographic glitter, it would be so beautiful. Next we have Slated. I am a huge grey fan on my nails. I love to wear grey with Hopes and Dreams glitter over the top. It is a staple for me. And this one is a beautiful blue toned grey. It's got a really lovely coverage to it and it's very, very classy. Next we have Mustard. Now I will say it's really hard to capture yellow on camera and get it accurate. So this colour doesn't come out quite right with the lighting but on the final swatch I have colour graded it to make sure it's as close to real life as possible for you. But it is a fantastic two coat amazing coverage and there you go. Next we have a gorgeous jelly polish and this one is evergreen. Now I'm going in with one coat first. I'm going to apply three coats of this in total to give you an idea of the coverage. But that was coat number one and then cured. Coat number two. And that's it after three coats. Finally, we have Seahorse. And this is a little bit of sparkly fun for your winter evenings. It's sort of like holographic icicles. It's very, very pretty. And this is a multi-glitter with larger hexagonal flakes in. You can see it's got a really good coverage and it applies nice and smoothly. Look at the bling. And here are the 10 colours together, just for you to compare, and full links to where you can purchase them will be in the description down below. Now to show you the lovely nail art that I've created all with Premier Gel. Just to say, I'm in the middle of changing gel brands at the moment, and I'm not taking off the existing gel brands, so I'm just rebalancing with the new, which is what's creating that funny little dip at the back there, and that changing colour. Cleanse the nails with 99% isopropyl alcohol. And then I'm going in with berries, because this is a personal favourite for me from the new collection. I just love this so much. I was going to initially do this nail art with Pillar Box Red, but then there was just something about berries that was calling to me. I'm going in on all the nails and applying two coats of this. Cure each coat in between. 
If you're not applying this over existing gel like I am, then I recommend using something like the rubber base coat from Premier Gel to apply first, cure for 30 seconds, apply your colour coats, which are each cured for 30 seconds, and then apply your top coat, which is cured for 60. And all these timings I use with the Sun 3 48 Watt Lamp. Once you've applied your two colour coats and cured, go in with your glitter. And I am using the Crimson Rose from Divine by Natasha Lee, which is my own brand. And again, full links to all of these products are in the description down below. One thing I do love about Premier Gel is how well glitter applies to it. It's just got the right amount of sticky, which sounds really bad, but it does. It has just the right amount of sticky to hold the glitter without actually leaving too much residue on your brush or anything like that and it adheres really well as you can see here so you can thoroughly brush down those flakes and clean around your cuticle area. Go in with two coats of your top coat and this is the High Shine Non-White Top Coat. Now for glitters I normally keep one top coat just for going over glitter and one top coat for going over the top of that or over colours and that's because some glitter can go into your top coat and you don't want that to end up in the bottle and get applied to your creams. Now we're going to do some mixing. This is some chestnut with some black, all from Premier Gel. And with my silicon tool, I'm going to mix these together to create a sort of deeper brown for our robin. Once you're happy with the colour you've created, and it really isn't very scientific, I just mixed it till I was happy, clean your silicon tool with 99% isopropyl alcohol. Then I'm getting some pillar box red, and some black ready, and some mustard. With a dotting tool, start by applying an oval in the centre of the nail with a pillar box red. This is going to create little Robin's red breast. Then, with my fine detail brush, and this is the NL1 Elite, I'm going in with that brown mix of the chestnut and the black, and I'm going to line round that red. I do find it easier to actually flash cure at each stage here, so I flash cured the red before I went in with the brown over the top, and that just stops the red from bleeding into the brown. And the flash cure is normally where you do something like a five second cure just to hold it in place, but then you do have to go back in afterwards and fully cure it. I'm just creating a sort of egg shape around that red and going right round and filling it in. The great thing about using gel polishes with art is until you cure them, you can just wipe off many mistakes. Using my fine detail brush, I'm doing tiny little ticks out to the side like this to create a little fluffy robinness. Is that a thing, robinness? It is now. A little curl on the top of the head. And we're going to repeat this down the side. Now you can move your hand to however you want to make this easiest for you. So for example, going down this side, it's easier for me to do it on the desk. We're going down the other side. I prefer to do it with my hand upright. Cure all of the brown and the red before going in with some mustard and again, your NL1 Elite Fine Detail Brush. I'm just doing this to try and sharpen up that little beak. And we're doing that just in the centre above the little red breast. Two little black dots for eyes. And then I'm just going to touch up that red a little bit to make it a little less translucent over the glitter. Once you're happy with that, we're going to give it a flash cure before going in to do our teeny tiny little feet. And for the feet, we're just literally doing three little lines. But what you can do is you can clean up and sharpen those lines. Once you've applied them, if you do find the polish bleeds, clean off your brush and then stroke it through to remove some and sharpen up your lines. Then I'm going in with a little bit of the black mixed with my custom brown and just doing some detailing around the outside of the fluffiness so it stands out against the glitter. Once you're happy with it, give it a cure. And when I say cure, because someone asked this on a video the other week, I mean put it in your lamp and cure the polish. Now I'm mixing some of that brown with some of the mustard to make a paler brown and we are just going to literally do little strokes over the brown and this is to create the image of like a fluffiness, almost like textured and it is such a cute little robin. I've got a real thing for robins at the moment because they keep visiting me, especially one on the day of my nan's funeral. And I'm just going in with a little bit of black with the red and going around that robin red breast just to give it a bit of definition before going in with a tiny bit of the white from Premier Gel. I'm applying it on, but then we're going to remove it off with a clean brush like you can see here. And that's just give it a tiny bit of detailing. Finish with two coats of top coat, and that is so we don't get a bumpy finish. Yes, for anyone noticing, it would be a bit bulkier, but for this layer, I only did one layer of top coat over the glitter. 
Once you're happy with your top coat application, pop into the lamp and cure. Then we're going to apply our homemade cuticle oil and there's a link in the top right corner of how you can make this. Massage it in and there is such a cute little finished robin. How adorable is that? I love this red, it is my go-to red at Christmas. Every Christmas I wear it on my fingers and my toes throughout the whole of December and eke it into January as much as I can. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know which was your favourite colour swatch from the 10 that I've showed you earlier. I think for me it's going to have to be a really tight one between berries and pillar box red. I'm very excited to announce that the winner of the mini controversy palette was Heather Cameron. Congratulations Heather, I have emailed you. Thank you to everyone who entered and I will be doing more giveaways in the future. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you want to purchase any of the gel you've seen today, there's a link down in the description to Premier Gel and any of the nail art products and glitters, you can click on the screen now at Shop Now. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all very, very soon.